Good morning. It is day 13 of the Great British Leg Off. It is about 5am. I need to leave a little bit earlier than these lads. This is a, a day where I'm cycling solo because I've got to get to uh, John O'Groats by the end of today to make it back in time because I've got to get back a little bit earlier than these lads. So it's a big day. It's about a 317k day. By far the biggest day I've ever cycled. It is going to be a bit of a push today, but um, got it in me, give it some beans, and I'll get it done. See you in a bit. Little uh, video update from me from a little town called Kinlochwy. The, uh, the band split up today. Tom uh, went off in his own direction this morning, leaving at about five o'clock. He's got to get to a wedding on Saturday, so he left early to do um, to complete Lands End John O'Groats, and I think he's got to do about 200 miles, 320 odd k today to get to get up there. So huge day for him. Uh, me and Ash are riding together along the coast road from Applecross to Ullapool and uh, two words, beautiful but brutal because it's just, this first 65 kilometers has just been repetitive hills, small repetitive hills, really steep, not very long, but non-stop uh, with a headwind pretty much. This little town here at Kinlochway is quite nice and I think we should have a bit of a tailwind for the next 30 odd kilometers. So hopefully we can get up to a hundred quite quickly and then it will just be 86K to finish again more climbing more hills along the, the coast road i'm tired today legs are exhausted drinking lucas aid fizzy energy to, to hopefully save myself but on a positive side we're in the scottish highlands and the weather is beautiful it's really sunny and uh, actually reasonably warm so uh, you know looking on the bright side I think we're quite lucky from that point of view. I'm uh, going to cut this off now. Need to get back on the bike, get inside, then to try and catch up with Ash. Hopefully meet him, and then uh, carry on together to Ullapool. Oi! Afternoon. Uh, haven't done too many updates today because it has literally been head down, get on the pedal got a lot of distance to cover um, had a fresh start this morning obviously got up at five to get out of apple cross again uh, which was lovely on the legs they, they enjoyed that that woke me up and then um, climbing up that really got my average speed down so I, I tried to just keep pushing and get my average speed up a little bit to um, claw back some time um, and then what else has happened uh, oh yeah, I had a puncture about 80k in and I was like, oh, here we go, on the front wheel. Um, so I got off, sorted with that, fixed that, that ate into the cushion. That took 20 minutes, I'm not as fast as Chris. Um, and then other than that, it's just been head down pedalling to be honest. I'm currently on the A9, just following it all the way to um, John O'Groats. But it's really beautiful, I've, behind me I've got the sea and that's just with me the whole time pretty much like hugging the um, coastline you've got some nice sort of mountains hills inside Ash has very kindly um, let me uh, have Sheila for the day if you can see that Ooh, there she is uh, keeping me company on the road which is nice and uh, I've been keeping in touch with with Chris and Ash we sent each other little voice notes and that so those lads seem like they're having a good time today weather's absolutely glorious we've really lucked out and we really needed it today especially me I couldn't have I couldn't have done this distance in pouring rain and wind and cold so yeah feeling good here's the stats on the computer there's about 200 on the clock I've got 118.5 kilometers to go 
it's nearly four. Should get there for about nine, I reckon, at John O'Groats, but we'll see. We'll see. Got to get the picture of the sign. Prove it. All right. See you in a bit. Afternoon. Little mini update from me. I've been carrying around this Coke can all day, saving, saving it for the last push. I just saw a sign for John O'Groat, 16 miles away. That is not far at all. So I thought, have this, power me through. I'm sick of the bars and the flapjacks and the chocolate. I don't want any more of that. And uh, yeah, just thought this nice field and took a picture of the bike. And uh, yeah, I thought this was a nice little pit stop. After that 200k mark, all hell let loose. Uh, the um, coastal roads just got insanely hilly, like just constant, one hill after the other, and they were like quite big climbs. Wasn't expecting that to be honest. Um, and I had a headwind for, through all of it, so I really struggled on that. I had to get out the energy gels, um, had a Red Bull. You know, I was just trying all the tricks of the trade just to get through it. Then after about 40k of that, it started to flatten out and um, became way more manageable. And that boosted my morale quite a bit. So, yeah, we are getting through it. The end is near. See you at John O'Groats. There we have it. Land's entered John O'Groats. Completed. Right, good uh, good evening from Ullapool. Another day spent on the magical NC500. Yeah. Uh, cruising around the Scottish Highlands. Um, I do upload all of my routes onto Strava and I put on it that you've got to come to do the NC500. you just got to do it. It is stunning. Um, we got very lucky with the weather for the last two days. We've been in the Highlands and we haven't had a single drop of rain. It's really hard to complain, to be honest. The only thing we have is a little bit of a headwind occasionally, um, but otherwise it's been fantastic. How did you uh, How did you find today? The only negative is the midges. Yeah, there are a lot of midges, so that is true. It's incentive to keep moving. It's like I stopped a bit earlier, just because I needed to eat, and it's literally lean the bike up at the side of the road, Go into the middle of the road because there's no cars. Just walk around a little bit whilst eating, whilst drinking. Looking like a lunatic. Get back on the bike again. <laughs> Looking like going. a lunatic in the middle of the road, Absolutely. running around. No, it's, it is true. There are a lot of midges up here, but I think that the views make up for the midges. I mean, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't work out how many countries I could see in the scenery around here today. I got a bit of Finland. Quite a lot of Norway. Iceland. Iceland. That's what came to my mind yeah, immediately. Iceland. Just sparse, desolate, wild. Yeah. And beautiful. I also had a couple of moments where I was like, this bit here reminds me of being on a Greek island once, where like you were you were in trees suddenly, and it mm. was and it was like vegetation. Um, okay. And then massive open landscapes like the fjords of Norway and Iceland and. Yeah. Then the, all the huge pine trees of Finland and yeah, it was it was just it's breathtaking up here. I can understand why people love the Highlands. I can't sort of wax lyrical enough about how good it is here and to get uh, to get the opportunity to ride here in good weather. Mm. We're just so lucky. You really are. You'll obviously notice that there's only two members of the band here at the moment. The, uh, the third member, Tom. He rode uh, this morning, uh, I mentioned this in a video earlier, he rode this morning up to John O'Groats. He's got to go to a wedding on Saturday, so he has uh, detached from us and gone on his own on his own route. And he, as far as we know, made it to John O'Groats at about half past nine. And then he got himself over to um, Thurso, to his hotel. So he smashed 317k today, which is the biggest ride he's ever done, as far as I know. And he left late. And he's ridiculous. <laughs> and, he, and he had to do the Apple Cross Pass in reverse this morning. And he had a puncture. And he got another Still puncture. It. That's the last time he buys Gator skin tires, I oh, think. Oh, God, yeah. So uh, that's it from us, I reckon, here. 
Especially when they weren't anything else. I would just like to say Applecross as a place. Nicest. I would say the nicest little town I've ever been to. Beautiful. So coming down into it last Stunning. night, it's like deer by the sea and just very sort of mystical. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. We have, it, obviously, it's on the west side of Scotland, so you get a, if the weather's nice, you get a beautiful sunset. Mm. So we basically descended down into the sea with the sun setting with Apple Cross as your view on the way down, and it was it was incredible. We, we timed it all pr pretty well. We got very lucky there. So, yeah, that was good. We'll, uh, we'll sign off. Just one more thing. Oh, go on. What are you missing most from home? You're what? not allowed to say Petra. Oh, what am I missing most from home? I don't know. Proper proper food. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep eating petrol station food every day <laughs> and cheese and pickle sandwiches. <laughs> it's awful. I'm missing proper food. When you do these things, all you're bothered about is fuel. Yeah. Food isn't food anymore, it's fuel. It is, exactly that. And I know that You're just thinking calories yeah, and quick fix. I'm thinking chocolate salt. Yeah. So it's like salt and vinegar crisps and chocolate bars and Lucasade. Cake. Uh, cakes and flapjacks and the food is just it's, it is horrible the food but uh, uh, yeah, that's probably the thing I'm missing the most what about, yeah. what about you? my electric toothbrush I would say oh that's a good one mm. oh that's a just, good one again because of all the terrible food and the sweets word as originals yeah. just yeah the teeth aren't good it's need a proper clean well talking of cleaning a washing machine to wash all oh, of our yeah. clothes because yeah, we absolutely yeah. hum. Yeah. If you could smell what it's like in this room as you walk in, well, you're, you're lucky you can't. I mean, it's <laughs> not quite as bad because there's only two of us, but even so. Was Tom the problem? I mean, it's a joint <laughs> effort. It's a joint effort between all of us. No, yeah, luckily it's not smell of vision. Cool. Right, we've got a little bit more of the HC, sorry, the NC500 to do tomorrow. We're going to get up to the north, north of the north coast. Yeah, we, we've tweaked the route a bit just because it, it's been ridiculous. Like, I'm on the verge of breaking. Yeah. So I need a little bit of an easier day. I mean, it's still big. It's still 100 odd miles, but yeah. not as big as it would have been. Yeah. And I'm very happy to go along with that, to be honest, because I'm <laughs> shattered as well. I'm very, very keen for... Uh, we, this, but this is the thing is, it's 100 miles, and that's to us, is that's an easy day now. Yeah. Things have changed. I know. Anyway, yeah. We will uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.